Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video, we are going to see one of the simplest ways to cut out a portrait on a leaf. This was my first attempt at doing a leaf portrait and there were a few mistakes done but overall the final outcome was very good. So guys, let's get started. So the first thing that you are going to need to do a leaf portrait is obviously a leaf. Uh, the quality of leaf matters a lot. Uh, normally in these kind of portraits having a people leaf or bigger thicker leaves is going to be good. Also as you can see that the leaf is not completely dry. What I have used is that I have used a leaf that has been dried for over a day. It was very hot so actually the leaf got a little too much dry. The problem with dried leaf is that when you will cut they will crackle and they will break so you don't need a dry leaf. I have already prepared a template and tried to place it inside the shape of the leaf. Also if you can see that the number of details or the amount of details within the template is very minimal. This is basically a silhouette portrait, uh, a lot of black areas and a lot of white areas without too much uh, minor details and for these kind of portraits you only need this. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to position my paper on top of the leaf and make sure that they don't move around. Uh, for that I'm going to utilize this uh, very simple, you know, very thin double tape. Now later on I realized that when I was trying to take off the leaf out of this double tape then some of the leaf got you know broken which was not good so instead of using this you can use button tape uh, which have much less adhesive the purpose here is just to ensure that the paper does not move around once you place it over the leaf so a tape with the low adhesive would be a good idea rather than using these kind of double tapes so as you know that you learn from your mistakes so next time definitely i'm not going to use this double tape i'll be using something much more mild So I'm going to uh, place the template on top of the leaf uh, to ensure that you are aligning it correctly. Uh, what I had done was that uh, I put it up against my uh, light inside the room and see if the positioning was correct or not. Obviously I was not able to show it on the camera. But once I had the positioning correct, uh, I simply peeled off the uh, protective covering of the double tape and affixed the paper on top of the leaf. Ensure that you are using a fresh blade to do this kind of portrait cutting over the leaf because when the blade is fresh and you drag it across the leaf it will just cut where you are trying to and not break off the nearby portions but with a blunt blade chances are that you are going to cause breakage on the other parts of the leaf uh, other than where you are cutting also. So the leaf is normally dark that means it's green in color and uh, majority of the time the texture of a dried leaf will be dark. So when you cut a portrait on a white paper, it's easy for you to cut out the black portions because you're going to put it against a dark background. But when you're cutting a portrait over a dark background itself, you cannot remove the black areas. So in this case, you have to remove all the white areas and that's what I'm going to do. Now there are many ways in which you can cut out the leaf portrait. A lot of people, what they do is that they do not cut out the main main veins of the leaf that is the central vein that is going from the stem of the leaf to the top of the leaf they will not cut it it allows them to keep the different isolated areas within your portrait connected with the leaf which is a good way but then it creates a lot of you know crisscross across the portrait which i normally don't appreciate but i will definitely make a video on that also but with this kind of setup you cannot do that because you cannot see the veins inside the leaf uh, when you are uh, cutting like this uh, you, as, as the paper is opaque so you cannot see it. So in this case we are going to cut it like regular portrait cut. Uh, the only thing that we are going to use the vein is for connecting the portrait inside the leaf at the end which you will see but most of the cut we are going to do. If there are any isolated areas then we are going to connect them through pencil sketches on top of the paper itself and cut accordingly on the leaf. That's how we are going to approach it. So what this means is that the two eyes that you see inside the portrait which are completely isolated from rest of the black parts of your portrait I'm going to simply connect it with the help of you know pencil draw little lines towards the hairline on the side so that it is connected. Now I mentioned at the beginning that you don't want to cut these portraits on a dry leaf because when you'll cut the leaves are going to crackle and even with a sharp plate uh, chances are that things will break off especially the thin areas on your portrait. So my suggestion here is that you take a fresh leaf uh, put it inside a book uh, for a couple of hours so that it gets flattened and once it has got flattened properly then you do the portrait cutting. Once the portrait cutting has been done then you carefully place that leaf back into the book 
for it to dry off and once it has completely dried off then you can frame it whatever way you want this way you will ensure that when you are doing the paper cutting you are not damaging the leaf because of the movement of the blade because on a wet leaf or on a leaf that is not so dry it will be much easier to cut and you can treat that leaf just as a paper also one more thing i noticed that when you reach near a vein the central vein or the side veins of the leaf uh, there will be bumps on the leaf when you are doing the cutting every time you reach a vein there is a bump in the cutting so you don't actually want to uh, apply the same pressure all the time when you are near a vein press a little harder so that you immediately cut that vein and then move across otherwise when you will try to remove the cut out portion the leaf will still be connected at the uh, vein and you might damage rest of the leaf so be careful of that so once i was done doing the major cuts uh, what i simply did was that i created sort of border around the leaf and then i cut out all the uh, white areas inside the leaf to give my portrait a little uh, you know better uh, texture at the end and better appearance at the end so i am nearing this uh, uh, portrait completion now i have just cut out along the border that i have created but you can see that at the bottom i have left the stem and at the top i have left the stem but unfortunately when i moved the portrait i broke the eyes as you can see that i had to place it separately and this was mostly because my leaf was a little dried out if my leaf was not dried out it would not have happened so guys uh, let me know how you found this video if you found this video useful or not uh, this was my first attempt obviously it was not perfect uh, the usage of the double tape was not okay the dryness of the leaf was not okay the only thing that was good was that i got a very perfect leaf size uh, you need at the minimum this much leaf size and uh, since I cannot sketch, so I just used a printout of a portrait and I put the broken parts perfectly on my leaf again so that it comes out good. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you guys like the video, then please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Also do subscribe to my channel for regular videos on paper arts and other forms of arts. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Till then, stay safe, take care and bye bye.